Today, we're getting into the latest Tesla news, including Tesla adjusts delivery estimates after select Model Y variants sell out for 2022. Texas continues deliberate Model Y ramp, Lucid is reportedly coming to Europe, and much more. Welcome back, friends. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel for the latest Tesla news, and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of our new videos. We also ask you to help us reach 1,000 likes on this video. So, without going any further, let's begin. There are some big things happening related to driving in the UK. Drivers using self-driving cars can now watch TV on in-car screens in accordance with updates proposed to the highway code. This means that Tesla could start experimenting with FSD beta there. This proposed update would allow drivers to watch TV in their self-driving cars while they are driving. However, drivers must be willing to retake control of their vehicle at any time, according to lawmakers. This will probably be tested first with vehicles at low speeds, such as those that are currently stuck in traffic jams. These changes are being referred to as interim measures to help bring in this new technology. There are more large-scale related changes that are expected to take place around 2025. These current changes are expected to be rolled out this summer. Included in these changes are rules that would not make self-driving car drivers responsible for accidents. Rather, insurance companies will be liable, according to the Department for Transport. These changes come on the heels of other recent changes to the ways of driving. The government recently decided to allow hands-free driving in vehicles equipped with lane-keeping technology on congested highways. Automated Lane Keeping Assist technology keeps cars in one lane at speeds up to about 40 miles per hour and allows drivers to retake control at any time. This special technology is being emphasized as assistive. This means that drivers must still be paying attention and ready to take over control of the vehicle at a moment's notice. One of the hopes of these new driving technologies is a reduction in accidents due to human error. Government experts believe that this technology could improve road safety across Britain by reducing human error, which is a contributory factor in 88% of all recorded road collisions. Steve Gooding of the RAC Foundation echoed this sentiment by saying these tech-infused cars promise a future where death and injury on our roads are cut significantly. The UK's attitude towards self-driving cars through their policy direction is good news for Tesla. Elon Musk is already offering the functionality of self-driving vehicles with close monitoring by the driver. Tesla is already testing the FSD beta feature in North America and has plans to extend it to Europe. As of now, Musk is hoping to get approval for doing so by this summer. What do you think about these changes to the law? Do you trust self-driving vehicles on the road around you? Let us know your opinion in the comments below. Next up today, Model Y is growing in popularity and is becoming one of the most sought-after crossovers available today. This is contributing to Tesla expanding at rapid speeds. The techie automaker has even just opened two brand new Gigafactories. Giga Texas and Giga Berlin to help meet their demand. Last quarter, Tesla had total revenue of $18.76 billion, which is much higher than what experts were predicting. Furthermore, they were able to rake in a gross profit of about $5.5 billion. This achievement is a personal best for the automaker. These numbers were fueled by deliveries being up 68% for the Model 3 and Model Y. These models make up about 95% of all Tesla deliveries. There were a total of almost 300,000 of these vehicles sold in Q1 of 2022. There have even been a number of price hikes of late, but they haven't slowed down Tesla. Musk was asked about the price hikes and did his best to explain them at a recent conference call. He said that they were necessary due to expected costs in 6 to 12 months, which is when cars that are being ordered today will be built. Tesla Gigafactory Texas may still be following a deliberate ramp but work in the facility is still ongoing at a rapid pace. As the factory continues to produce Model Ys, preparations at Giga Texas's staging area are hinting at the volume of vehicles that will be coming out of the recently opened plant when it hits its pace. Gigafactory Texas is Tesla's newest and arguably most advanced electric vehicle plant. For now, the facility is producing the Model Y crossover though the factory is also designed to manufacture some of the company's most important upcoming products, like the Cybertruck. Expectations are high that vehicles like the Tesla Semi may also be built in Giga Texas. 
During a recent flyover, drone operator Jeff Roberts was able to capture images of some developments happening in Giga, Texas. Immediately noticeable is the fact that Giga, Texas's employee parking lots are already quite full, which suggests that the facility's headcount is growing. More Model Ys were also spotted at the facility's staging lot, though the stream of vehicles from the factory is still deliberate. Also noticeable were the loading areas for car carrier trucks in Giga Texas' staging area, which are now being painted. About 18 slots for car carriers have been painted so far, though the size of the area suggests that more slots would likely be added in the near future. Considering that Giga Texas is designed for quick Model Y production once it hits its pace, the facility's staging lot will probably be one of the busiest areas in the factory. Interestingly enough, the drone operator noted that while he was on the way to Giga, Texas, he was passed by a car carrier truck loaded with Made in Texas Model Ys. This suggests that while the factory is still producing cars at a deliberate pace, deliveries to customers, which for now appear to be Tesla employees, are still ongoing. Unfortunately, some of Tesla's vehicles have had their delivery dates to push backward. Select Model Y vehicles will not be delivered by the original estimated date. Specifically, the Midnight Silver and Pearl White Base Model Y Long Range with Gemini 19-inch wheels have completely sold out for the rest of 2022. Delivery estimates for the vehicle are now between February 23 and May 23. Other variants of this model are still being delivered this year. The Base Model Y Long Range in deep blue, red multi-coat, and solid black is still expected to be delivered between November 22 and February 23. However, these three colors cost extra. The Model Y Performance with Uber Turbine 21-inch wheels is expected to be delivered between June and August of 22. Between November 22 and February 23 is when the Model Y Long Range with induction wheels is estimated to be delivered. Customers can upgrade their choices in various ways. A tow hitch can be added to a Model Y for $1,000. Induction 20-inch wheels can be had for an extra $2,000. The pearl white and midnight silver colors are available for free on all Model Y purchases. However, deep blue will be an extra $1,000, solid black will be $1,500, and red will be $2,000 additional for the Model Y long range's cost. The base price of the base Model Y long range without any discounts is $62,990 in the USA. With the performance model, the price goes up to $67,990. Prices may vary from country to country. Tesla leadership recently spoke on the prices of their products at their Q1 22 earnings call. They explained that changes in the supply chain were affecting their prices. Specifically, rising prices of raw materials were being taken into account. Tesla has the tricky job of trying to predict where prices will be when the cars are being built in the future, even though they are being paid for today. Tesla's CFO talked on this subject. And so, to Elon's point, what we're trying to do here, because it is quite an unprecedented situation of raw material movement, and all of these various lags, and all this uncertainty around renegotiating contracts, is we're trying to anticipate where things will go, and make sure that the pricing that we have in place at the time that the raw material cost increases hit us, that they align, and that the company can remain financially healthy in various scenarios, as we look out over the next four quarters, explained Kirkhorn. What do you think about the price hikes? Are the prices climbing too high for Tesla? We will be happy to see your answers below. And moving on to the last update, Lucid is reportedly coming to Europe in either June or July. There have been rumblings of the Air Sedan trying to expand into Europe and China, but this recent report has seemed to provide a definite answer on the topic and a time frame. Germany looks to be the first European country to have the privilege of having access to Lucid vehicles, according to Autocar. The company seems to be interested in setting up its regional headquarters there. Next, they will probably expand into other important markets within Europe where EV vehicles are in demand. Lucid is considering where it would have the best chances of selling its vehicles. Germany, Norway, and the Netherlands look like good fits because of their mature market status and affluent buyers. These consumers might be most interested in an expensive electric sedan. There is also a right-hand drive air that is planned, which would be perfect for the UK market. 
It is yet to be seen what these vehicles will be priced at in Europe. In the U.S., the Air will cost from $77,000 once the Air Pure is launched with 480 horsepower and 406 miles of range. The top Air Dream edition was launched at $169,000, though they are selling for over $200,000 at the moment. The Grand Touring model is the cheapest Air that's available now. It is priced at $140,000 and has a 516 mile range. The source report talks of a sighting of Lucid's dual motor rear axle, which is called the Megawatt rear axle, which boasts an output of 1,341 horsepower. Additionally, the report says UK order books might be available in the fourth quarter of 22, with right-hand airs being delivered as soon as 23. The air could be equipped with more than 1,600 horsepower coming from the tri-motor. This could spell the end of the Model S Plaid's days as the fastest accelerating sedan. The Lucid Gravity SUV will also come equipped with this special motor, which is expected to be available in 24. So, what do you guys think about this? Let us know in the comments below. And most importantly, if you wish to be updated on every single topic related to the EV industry, you should consider subscribing to the channel and pressing the bell icon. Also, thank you for watching the video. This is us signing off. See you guys in the next one. Until then, peace.